morning. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Ben and Van. What are we doing, guys? We're about to get in the car because after seven months, so that's um, three months on Elko Island and then another four months here in Nulamboy. What's up, my man? Wait for mummy. Advent calendar. 13. Well, maybe you opened. Did you open 13 yesterday? No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 14 then. 14th today. Um, we're heading. We're heading out of here. We are leaving Arnhem Land. So seven months in Arnhem Land. Still not enough. <laughs> but, but we are actually. Um, we're about to just smash four days of driving, and we're going to go from uh, East Arnhem Land up here in Nullumboy all the way to Broome. So um, we really have to go now because at 12 o'clock, it's about 5.30 now, almost six, at about 12 o'clock this afternoon, the first of the rain of Cyclone Jasper starts hitting here. I think it's in the Gulf right now. So we are getting ourselves organized. Time's organized. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's a morning person. And uh, yeah, this episode is going to be four days, 1,700 kilometers, Nolan boy, to broom. Let's go. So sometimes it's the small things in life that make you happy. Do you know what makes me happy? Look at these. You don't know if you'll be able to see them. See these? See that there? Going up. That is greater tracks. So all of the, it looks like all the way through to Gapawiak, um, the grade has been through very recently. So we've been sitting on about, we're just only an hour out of town now, um, but we've been sitting on 50, 60 Ks already. So we're already past Giddy's River. Now to put that into perspective, from Giddy's to town last time, took us on the way here, took us like three hours. So um, yes, here we are. So fingers crossed, we keep that going, which would be great. All right, we are doing well. We are four hours in. We've been averaging about 50 Ks an hour, which is like insane. Um, we've just passed the gap of we at turn off, which is about 200 Ks out of Nolan Boy. So I must say the track is in incredibly good condition. So when you juxtapose that with the um, condition it was last time we came up here. Uh, it uh, shakes uh, your uh, farm all around. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good. So hopefully we can smash out a lot of Ks today. At this rate, well, 50 Ks, we could potentially do 500 Ks, which would take us to easily to where we want to get to, which is Jurassic Park. Let's keep going. We are doing well still. Um, we thought we'd stop for a com no. comfort break in front of one of the many, look at this, iconic, iconic East Arnhem Land termite mounds. I'll get back here so you can see. The size of these things are epic. There's like, there's one there, and then there's another one, massive one down in there as well. And there's another one, if I turn around, down over there. So we might just stop and, we're not gonna quite stop for lunch yet. We'll push for another hour or so. And um, maybe make it to the bridge, maybe. Big bridge, what's the river called? I can't remember. Uh, Rocky <laughs> full of, Creek Rocky Bottom Creek, full of helpful information. But we are gonna get a big termite mound photo and a goodbye, goodbye Arnhem Land photo or East Arnhem Land for now, until next time. I think Eli. Eli's loving it because he's got his iPad. <laughs> All right, so five hours and we have just come into Rocky Bottom Creek. Now, to put that into perspective, it took us a day last time we came up here to get from that spot just there, which you can't see because the GoPro's there, but that spot there to the GoPro Club took us like 10 hours, 11 hours or something like that. So literally half the speed that we're going now. 
Um, so we're doing a good time, we're not even lunch yet, so we weren't thinking we were going to stop there for lunch, but we'll keep on pushing through because it's uh, only quarter to 12. Um, but yeah, if you want an idea of what this road looks like when it's in really poor conditions, I'll put a I'll put a link to the episode that we did on the way up here where we came up here in like late April in the, in the wet, in Easter, yeah, during Easter, and it was just like chalk and cheese. But anyway, next stop is lunch. Not sure where. And we have made it here for lunch. A stop at the Goida River Bridge, which you can see behind me is, fondly enough, a giant bridge. <laughs> which is actually, um, I mean, obviously you can't swim in any of these rivers because, well, you can if you want, but it's full of crocs. Um, maybe not full of crocs, but the water here at the moment, because the rains haven't really come in yet, it's not flowing quickly and it is crystal clear. So if you come down here, I don't even be able to see it. There's lots of fish coming up, floating around. Just little ones though. Oh, get a load of this. Beautiful. Last time we were here, it was way, way, way higher. Can't see any crocs. Uh, you can see a barra down there, but it's only a little one. Have a look at this. That's beautiful. Anyway, enough of that. I just, good to go for a swim, I tell you what. You probably could swim in there. You can see all the way along the bottom. You can see this, there is, you can see the flash of the little silver of the barramundi down there, but that only be babies, they wouldn't be biggies, not this far inland. Anyway, I think ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch. Have you had enough to eat? Yeah, what about you? So much. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. Alright, ready to rock? As soon as possible. Yeah. Alright, good. 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 Same as Gapoyak, probably not worth going up to Ramakinny, but um, Monaro store or Monaro station is probably the most convenient and even more convenient because it's actually open because uh, we're in the wet season out. It's um, closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and today is Thursday. So, Monaro store just goes to show the price of diesel here is like. It's like 25 cents cheaper than Gove. Look at that. You're generally paying three bucks a litre, just under. It's always a 290 something in Gove. And here, cheap's cheap. But anyway, 
Menorah Shores is also a great spot to stop. Um, I did an episode on it. Well, we we stayed here ooh, two two years ago. Did we stay here, Tom? April last year. April, no, no, the year before last, wasn't it? No, we've only been here last year. Oh yeah, April last year. So a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago we stayed here. Um, and it's a it's a great little spot. There's a um, spring out the back that you can swim in that is like amazing. But it's also a great place to get fuel. Anyway, we have got about an hour and a half tops left of driving. It's been almost 10 hours in the saddle so far, but it's had a good day. Gee donkey. It's a cow cross with a donkey? It's a cow cross with a donkey. What do you call a cow cross with a donkey? Hello, wonky donkey. Wouldn't that be a... I'm going slow, bro. Or a conky? A conky, yeah. Conky. He was a wonky donkey. Again, good old Jurassic Park. I love this place. So I ended up Grand Tally, 11 hours in the saddle. We've probably done, you know, we've well and truly broken the back of the trip. Um, we've got, you can hear, you can probably hear it. There's ge our generators going in the background now because we finally bit the bullet and bought a generator because um, well, solar's great until you're in the wet season when it's 36 degrees day and night and there's no sun. And no matter, no matter what you do with solar, when there's no sun. Yeah, anyway, and I mean, you can see, if you have a look behind me, how good is that? That is beautiful. So this is us for the night. I think we'll just do some snags. We'll get up early in the morning and we'll hit the road again. And I think the, the kids are desperate for, dare I say, some McDonald's when we get to uh, Catherine, if they behave. Yeah, you're gonna behave? No arguing? What about you? Yeah, probably will. <laughs> anyway, so if all goes well, um, we'll get out of here early tomorrow morning, but for now, signing out. It's time for a feed and then it could not sleep. Eli is all about learning valuable life skills, eh? You asked me to do it. <laughs> so we're going to, um, there's only about a hundred and 100 odd k's of bitumen and dirt before we get to the Stewart. So rather than spending half an hour, well, half an hour, but rather than spending a bunch of time airing up when we get to the Stewart, it's pretty much intermittent. Once you get to um, Jurassic Park, it's intermittent and the road's pretty good anyway. So we're jacking it up to 40, so we'll feel every bump. <laughs> Let's go. Central Arnhem Road is done skis and we are just coming up to Stewart Highway. Look at this beast. Look at this beast. Check this thing out. What is that? Uh, it's even camoed. Well camoed. Totally all over the place. That's alright. So we're heading to 
Catherine, and what are you guys having for breakfast at Catherine? Nuggets! If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Uh, and so maybe. What, we, what was our. What, yeah, we, we, did, we did a bit of a tally for wildlife along the way. And I think, what did we get? I don't know, you wrote it down, didn't you? Tom? What did we see, guys? What did we see over the last what 24 hours? What animals did we see? Lots of cows. We lots saw of lots of cows. cows. We saw yep. buffaloes. Buffaloes. Lots of buff. Lots of uh, about eleven buffalo. Eleven a buffalo. Lizard. A cat. Yep. A cat. Mummy thinks she saw a cat. Seventeen donkeys. Yep. Seventeen wonky donkeys. And four so frill neck lizards. Twelve wallaby. Twelve wallabies. Oh, what thousand, uh, one hundred turbo mounts. Lots of turbo mounts. Lots of turbo mounts. Hundred and thirty. Yeah, two blue winged cockaburras. And K, two flocks of black cockatoos. Black cockatoos, man, they're beautiful birds. Yeah. Anyway, 51 Ks to Catherine. <coughs> Let's go. Yeah. Catherine. Welcome to Catherine. <laughs> so it's a big hefty rain clouds out there, that's for sure. It's cooled up though. Civilization. Oh, yeah. Fucking civilization. Oh, it's almost cold. It's cold. Need a thick jumper. Oh, it's cold. It is cold. Feel that air. Oh my goodness. Love them. Love these long drives. Mind you, that being said, um, we've just like made complete pics of ourselves with Maccas. My tummy hurts. Tanya's. I didn't pick myself as much as you did. <laughs> four, four hash browns, a bacon and egg McMuffin, and a cheeseburger. How was the Maccas? And the Coke and some fries. Maccas? Yeah, wow. good. Everyone feels sick. Yeah. That's what happens when you eat Maccas. I'm regretting my life choices. Yeah. It's always a bad decision. <laughs> this is not counting me. Less anyway, we've got four and a half hours to go to Kadanara. <laughs> through all these rock Where's the na which national park is this? This is I don't remember. A national park out in the middle of nowhere. But the the scenery is stunning. It's Gregory I can't Yeah Gregory's National Park. Up and down there. Um, very beautiful. Beautiful red cliffs. Because it's just been raining because the rain's come through. Everything is like super green. Fresh break at Victoria River. If you are, um, if you're travelling probably Darwin to Kananara or Darwin to Broome, and you're not going across the Gibb, this spot just whacks you in the face. Get a load of the background. Like you just come into this area and it is, it's just, it's like the, the Kimberleys and the Pilbara just starts, even though it's still miles away, it looks epic. Hot though, middle of summer, out in the middle of nowhere, well, kind of. Beautiful, just beautiful. Anyway, stretch the legs and then keep on going. So you've got to take these things seriously when you get the crocodile has recently been reported at this location on the 11th of the 12th 2023 how many days ago was that it's the 15th it's the 15th that was four days ago they saw a croc here but this is our timber creek who stopped here for lunch and um it is a cool little spot. It was called, what was it called, Tons? Hickory Picnic Ground, Hickory Creek Picnic Ground? Hickey, Hickey Beach. Hickey Beach Picnic Ground. Hickey Beach Picnic Ground. Apparently a lot of people get hickeys down here. Maybe not from Crocs, I don't know. That was a really bad dad joke. Anyway, what the hell? So check this out. I won't get too close to the water's edge because there are definitely Crocs here. Here we go. So we're just um, we're just gonna have 
bit of a picnic here. We'll have our lunch here. It's nice and cool in the shade. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit weird to get here because it's like it's behind the council offices and when you pull in, you you sort of like you follow this little track down. It's probably better in the high season because it's dry, but it's wet as wet now, and it feels like you're just going down this little goat track into the middle of nowhere. But it drops off into this nice little picnic area, so perfect spot for a uh, sandwich and a drink before we keep going on to Kununurra. And after just over two years, we are back. Well, we're not back yet because we've got to go through quarantine, but we are back to WA. It seems like a lifetime ago, eh? Why does really stick it's been a while. It's been a while because people stick stickers on it. Graffiti. But anyway, it's been a while since we've been in Western Australia, but it's December, it's hot, it's not as humid as it was in uh, East Arnhem Land, but it's still hot and we are heading to Broome. And we have made it to Kununurra. We had to throw out a bunch of fruit, well not fruit, veggies at the border because we forgot, well we didn't forget. No, I checked the list the and list it we said had. they were okay. But... So, yeah, anyway, the person on the thing I said that they were okay. Only so. keep the carrots. We got carrots. So, um, because we lost a bunch of fruit and veg, well, no, it wasn't that much. Not that much. But anyway, we dignified that as an excuse to go to a roadhouse pub and have a pub dinner. So, we are going to get petrol at Hananara. Then, we are going to drive for about another hour to get till about 4.30 WA time and get to Dune. Dune Roadhouse, is that right? Yeah, so they're right. Dune Dune Roadhouse, because we've never been there before. Has got great reviews on the burgers. Got so 4.9 stars. 4.9 stars. So one star stab on five stars. Um so Dune Dune Roadhouse. One hour's time, beer and burger. Oh, apparently their burgers are amazing. Apparently they're burgers. Did you have a fish burger? I'm still recovering from the Maccas this morning. <laughs> uh, Alright, beer burger. And here we are. Windy as windy at Dune Dune Roadhouse. Backdrop is pleasant. It's actually, the reviews on this place are really good. The kitchen looks immaculate, but being the off season, nothing's open. But the burgers are apparently amazing as well. So we're going to go and zip in there, have some burgers, and then retire. For a quiet, quiet night. First sign of a good burger, a knife and fork for a burger. What are your thoughts? Can't tired. We get our own our own table. Kids get their table. Roadhouse and they get ABC kids. The authentic roadhouse experience. House. Roadhouse. Oh my god, it's not morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's 4am. <laughs> Normal people don't wake up at this time. Well, it's not really 4am, it's actually 6. Well, it's 5.30. We're in WA now. Only just in WA, we're still on NT time. Yeah. Nine hours to broom, who's pumped? Me! Me! Oh Alright, time for coffee. Oh, so where were we, Eli? So we were here. Yeah. Broom is here. 
And where are we? Where are we now? And in two days we've, we're here. All right. So we've got how far to go today? We've done this much, and we need yep. to do this much today. Which looks like we're halfway, but actually, like if you take into account Cape Arnhem or Arnhem, the uh, East Arnhem Highway, East Arnhem Road, Central Arnhem Road, then we should be okay. 100 k's now. It's Whoa. only what's the time? It's like 5:30. Yeah. And we are pretty much ready to go. 5:41 a.m. I feel like that is a Mitchell record. Is that a Mitchell record? To be on the road. On the road by five. Now, according to Google, 333. 333. 333. 333. Sorry. 333. 333 is when we're going to get to Broome, apparently. If we drive consistently. So it's not big lunch. We could still get there by five. If we do a big, big day, we'll be able to get to Broome by five, but we will see how we go. And for the first time ever, I'll put the Starlink on the roof in travel mode. So um, it'd be interesting to see if we actually have internet on the way or if I destroy my Starlink, which is altogether possible, but I have a backup dish anyway. Anyway, onwards to Broome. Quick, um, quick stop off at Halls Creek some fuel. Room is now on the signs. We are 700 k's. 683. 683 to be exact. Amazing enough the Starlink is working really well. Um, well, not really well. Well, it's, I mean, the, it's working and it's functional. The boys are playing Roblox and Toby's. Toby's not. Um, and he's talking to his friends while playing it. So, it's probably disconnected maybe three or four times, but that's 300 k's almost. 260, maybe not 260, something like that. Anyway, Google's saying seven hours to go. Onwards. <laughs> Stop and an ice cream stop. The P doesn't stand for parking, it stands for P. Flying fish and a swimming fish. Yeah. How hot is it, Eli? Too hot. Too hot. Lost the face, oh. guys. Guys. So we've we've stopped in um we've stopped in face fly zone, Edendale, I think it is Edendale rest stop, and I swear to God, it's like 40 degrees. It is hot, hot as hot. But the good news is we're about three and a half hours away from Broome. So we're having a late lunch, uh, just because we've punched a lot out this morning. Um, as you saw, we left at like 5.30, it's now 1.30 now. So it's about one o'clock actually. So we're gonna have some lunch. And then someone's talking on the CB. And then we are going to probably smash out the last three hours. Try and get to Broome before five. And the mission on the way is to actually figure out where we're going to, um, where we're gonna have dinner tonight because we deserve something good. Now, interestingly enough, so the Starlink, as you can see, is right there. It's just zip tied onto the roof and it has been pretty good the whole trip. Um, yeah, like it's, we've been using it for podcasts, we've been using it for music, the kids have been using it for their iPads, and it's worked, actually worked really, really well. So, I wouldn't do it for short drives because there's no point. But if you're going for like a nine hour slog, then um, yeah, it's pretty good. And just give you some context of the fascination and wonder of this place. <laughs> a load of that one. I just... 
There you are. What is that? Huh? Oh, that's a special, um, a special piece of rubbish. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just don't touch it. There's the broom sign. There's the broom sign. Get a photo. We're not stopping. <laughs> Welcome to Broom! There we go. And with that, we have been welcomed and are welcome to Broom. How exciting, eh? Oh, it's still hot outside. So it's been a bit, so uh, what, two and a bit years since we have been to Broom. And we have just done 1,800 and something kilometres. Three days. Three days. Now, it'll be interesting because last time we were in Broome, well, when we left it was quiet, but we were there for the high season. I think the population of Broome in the high season is about 70,000 oh, people. Was, we were here in the really busy season. The really busy last season. Last year's busy season was only 40, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. But the population is normally... We were there for COVID, yeah. 15,000? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Broome should be nice and sleepy, hopefully. And Tanya has made the dinner choice tonight, which is going to be Chinese. Chinese. We're going to call the place though, because it opens at five. Yeah. So I see if we can actually get a reservation. Otherwise, we'll see you at Discovery, which is apparently in eight minutes' time. In 600 meters, turn left onto all